hold up to certainly your salmons, anything chicken, pork dishes, no problem, roasted vegetables. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a gorgeous wine. The way this wine goes around the mouth and completely coats the mouth and just hangs on for a good 15, 20 seconds after yeah. you swallow is awesome. Yeah, honestly. It's this nice wine. Yeah, this is really good. I feel like it's more like a Syrah and how it coats your mouth and, mm -hmm. and lingers rather than a typical wine. Right. Yeah, it's got, it's got, yeah, the structure is really full and the tannins, I, yeah, are, are leaning towards elegant. I'm not getting like the, this rich, silky feeling that you sometimes get out of Oregon Pinot Noir. It's definitely still dusty. But yeah, yeah they sit on the tongue and, you know, they, they you know, they're, they're there, they're present, they last long on the finish. I can see as this, this integrates together and the fruit runs out through the whole experience as well, that, uh, yeah, this is going someplace really excellent. It's I really like the fruit on it. It's less juicy, but the intensity is still there yeah. firmly. Oh, like tons, tons, of, tons of fruit, but it's just not that tons of juicy fruit. Yeah. Concentration, not extraction or something like that. And the finish is lengthy already. Yeah, it's good. It's, pretty, it's really good. Really, yep. really good. Pretty much delicious. Yeah. Eighty-nine points again for me. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go higher than that because I, again, I'm looking forward to uh, the effects of a little bit of time on it. But uh, but yeah, delicious and interesting, and, and definitely worth checking out. It's complex. It's got fantastic concentration. It's got great length. It's sexy wine. Ninety-one plus. Awesome oh. wine. Chaz is feeling it right now. Love. I love it. <laughs> wow. See, there it is. There it is. It's, it's all about cussing. Uh, for me, you know, like I said, I don't do points, but what I do find, or what I did say in my email list that I send out to all my Red Slide clients, I said this is the best organ you know, I've had in more than a year. I highly recommend it buying at least three bottles, if not a case, um, because it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to last a really long time. I mean, 15 years, easy, easy on this one, so. Yeah, so I guess you should make that point. They're, they're, I'm, I'm sure this will sell out pretty quickly, so. Uh, it will, there's only 200 cases for Oregon. Yeah, so so get in touch with David here, maybe he'll have some that isn't gone yet. Um, yeah, we'll have his, sold six. Yeah, we'll have his contact info down below. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, jump jump on if you're interested. All right, mm -hmm. uh, wine number three. Wow. What do we got here, Chaz? Holy shit on this one. Okay, anyway, uh, so the last one is the Elko Vineyards. Five Mountain Single Vineyard. Um, Five Mountain Vineyard is located in the Chehala, Chehala Mountains. I believe it was planted in 97. And Elk Cove has owned it since 2005. So, do a little rinse. And while we're doing the rinse here, we'll have you talk about what do you hope to do in the future in your wine business? Where, what, would, what would you like to see happen? How would you like to participate in the culture of wine in the Portland area as, sure. uh, as it goes on? Well, um, probably the biggest thing for me right now is the fact that I have now started the process to become a Master Sommelier. Um, I passed my first test already, the second one is in July, um, and then it'll take a couple more years after that. It's kind of like getting a PhD, it just takes a good long time with lots of esoteric dorky study. However, since places like Tulsa and Omaha have master songs and Portland doesn't, it really irks me, so I would like to be the first master song in Oregon. Awesome. Or in Portland, rather, there is one out of the winery working at uh, Deacon Terror right now. But not hanging out in Portland. That's what I want to do. Right. Slinging wine, making people happy. Sweet. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pull up the glasses. One of the reasons that we've enjoyed drinking with David so often, and, and, and one of the reasons we wanted to bring him on the show is that he's got you know, a really casual, friendly approach, you know, much like we do, and it's really great to see somebody in the business that's as knowledgeable as he has, that puts as much time into the research and the tasting as he has, and not be snooty about it, and not be all about telling you this is what you're supposed to be experiencing, but rather exposing us to a wide range of things, engaging in a discussion with us, and really enjoying the experience comprehensively, and that includes the socializing, that includes the food that goes with it, that includes just sitting down and relaxing and having a good time. That's because that's what it's all about. Yeah. If you're not having Cheers. fun drinking with your friends, you're not doing it right. <laughs> That's a good point. <clears throat> Alright, let's check out this wine. Man. Good funk on the nose here. Hey, sulfur. Um, yeah. And a little reduction. <laughs> Say, compared to the last one, this is just juicy fruit, big time. Well, it's juicy fruit. I mean, I always like Adam's wines. I've known the Camels for a long time. They're fantastic people. I've always liked the wines. Um, 
think they are a quintessential Oregon producer, and they've been around for a long time, but they always make it really approachable and friendly. I think like Irie, who I absolutely adore, their wines are kind of dorky. And like Elk Cove, I always feel like is a really nice starting point for a lot of people to get into Oregon Pinot. And then they have history actually. to it. They're always really friendly. I think their Pinot Gris, particularly with that little bit of Muscat and Gewurz they add to it, is killer. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's only like you know, 5% or so, but it gives it this nice little florally pop. Um, but we're not talking about Pinot Gris, we're yeah. talking about Pinot. Uh, Pinot, the V5 Mountain yes. Pinot Noir. So I want you to pass a little bit of a uh, reduction there. Yeah, this is coming across a little yeah. juicier, a little older. Like, not older in the sense of, like, maybe they're, uh, it's older fruit. Yeah, I'm getting, like, cherries you left on the counter for, for a couple right. days after you bought them, maybe. Yeah. They're, they're not rotten, but they're, you know, they're a little old, they're, they're not quite fresh. Yeah. So they're, some they're of the water is Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. There's also just some nice, just some nice earthy notes. The barrel tones are definitely coming through. I'm getting all that clove and allspice for sure. Maybe a little bit of violets. Mm-hmm. I, I won't say the fruit's popping. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Guess who's That's cool? Live. <laughs> we on camera. Live. Live Somebody's camera. getting phone calls. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just all those new chicks he's seen. <laughs> <laughs> just call him all night long. Can't let him go. That was, just... that was my mom, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 